So Tiger rolls up to the putting green at Augusta National on Monday and everybody's going crazy. It's a sight that I've never experienced before. And uh, it, it, it was uh, incredible. Here, here's some things we've got to look at for Tiger Woods this week. And I'll tell you, like, just the, the presence of Tiger Woods at Augusta National, I would imagine on any, any other time is pretty spectacular. But this year, after what's transpired the last 14 months or so, uh, it, 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 it is something special. I'll, I'll be honest. Like, I was there when he was walked right up to the green. And you, you just felt something, a presence that it, I just never really experienced before. And man, the crowds, first off, the crowds at Augusta National Monday were, it, it, it was a Sunday of any other normal event. This was my first time ever even being on property there at Augusta National. My first master's, first experience there. And I have been at other tournaments. I've been inside the ropes with, walking with Tiger Woods in his group at Riviera, at Torrey Pines. So I've seen the, the massive amounts of crowds on a weekend, on a Sunday with Tiger Woods at these events. I've never seen crowds <laughs> like this with Tiger Woods on, a, on any tournament, let alone that I've been to, right? Let alone a Monday practice round. It was absolutely insane. So here, here's how it went down. It's around two o'clock in the afternoon, Monday afternoon at Augusta National, and Tiger walks up to the putting green. And we had been around the golf course a bit and since maybe eight in the morning. So it's two, about two o'clock and he walks up to the putting green. We hear all the cheers, the roars, and we look over and there you could see him just warming up putting. I'm like, all right, so what's this gonna look like? Typically, we know from history, Tiger's like an early guy, gets out early in the morning, does his practice, and he's out. And he do, he'll do like nine holes, let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe do some chipping and putting and just take it easy and get out of there. So, but it's late in the afternoon. Now the morning was pretty cold, so by two, it was nice and warm, around 70 degrees. So we're thinking, okay, maybe he just wants a warm practice round. Who knows what he's looking for, but there he is. So we make our way, me and uh, some friends I'm with, we make our way down to the far, let's say, right side of the driving range, thinking he'll either, he's typically, a, a when he warms at the, up at a range, an edge guy, just likes his privacy. So we, we pick one side, 50-50 chance. We're sitting with some people. They're, they're asking us what's happening down there. And we said, hey, the Tiger's there. They don't believe us. They think we're goofing around with them. But no, he's actually down there. And so they're freaking out. They've been sitting at the range for hours watching Bryson hit driver. And I'll, so we, we get to watch Bryson over on this side of the range hit uh, driver for a while. And sadly, it, it wasn't looking so good based on where he was aiming and what his driver would do when he would miss. It was 70 plus yards right of his target. So he was trying to figure some things out, but he's been injured, so we'll cut him a little slack. And it's Monday, who knows? Maybe he can get it dialed in by Thursday. Tiger goes and he, he puts for a few minutes, then he goes over and he's just chipping at the chipping area walks to the kind of the far chipping area by himself, hitting these chip shots. And we could see him in the distance. He's way out there and his chipping game looks pretty, pretty on point. And then he jumps in the bunker for some bunker shots and he's just putting these things two, three feet from the hole every time. Then he walks over and he's walking to the range and Joey is making his way. And unfortunately we were on the wrong half of the range. He Chose the other side, but we could see him and he's just striping, you know, wedges, warming up. And Freddie, 
walks out and he starts warming up on the side we're at. And Justin Thomas does the, the same thing. So we automatically think that, hey, he's gonna be playing with Freddie, probably JT also, they're all buds. So they're gonna get out there and play. And we, we're, we're assuming he's gonna play 18 holes just because Tuesday, thunderstorms are expected and we're thinking like, hey, why not get 18 in today? Tuesday, nothing, Wednesday, light day, and then go play. That's what we're thinking. But Tuesday, uh, Monday, Tiger does a nine hole practice round and he's out. But we get to that first tee and we're waiting for him and they show up. It's chaos. It's packed like a Sunday would be, at least as far as I know, at Augusta. And Tiger stripes it right down the middle of the fairway. And that goes on for nine holes. Hit it great. We're uh, right there at the tee box at six, watching them hit shots, sounding pure as ever, as crisp as can be. He's doing a lot of uh, chipping around the greens, and we're all looking at him seeing, okay, what's he going to look like walking the course? Look fine to me. Didn't look, I didn't see any limping. I didn't see any, mm, ow, oh, ah, this hurts, that hurts. None of that was going on. It was all just, he was walking slow. But here's what I'll say with that is all the players were, as they walked up to the six T box, we would see Patrick Reed came through, Jordan Spieth, Daniel Berger. A lot of players came through six as we were kind of waiting to uh, see Tiger come through again. And they all consciously walked. I mean, this is Monday afternoon. They're all walking very, very slowly up to the tee box. And I think what they're doing here is just preparing themselves for their round, their tournament rounds of just slow it down, don't get too amped up, practice, the slow walk practice really pacing yourself around this golf course it's going to be a long day it's a hilly golf course you don't want to wear yourself out so i was just kind of amazed at how slow and deliberate not just tiger but every player that came through what how they walked they were really just like were very very slow i, I you wouldn't normally walk the course like that, like I've seen golfers, pro golfers, I've seen these guys walk before and they just kind of stride through the golf course. Not today. They are consciously all of them. Tony Finau, John Rahm, I'd see them. They're really walking slowly. And that's exactly what Tiger did. So I, I don't take anything from that other than you're preparing yourself and your body for what you need to do during the golf uh, your tournament round to keep your adrenaline in check, to keep your emotions in check, just to keep your body and your mind free so that you can then concentrate on the golf course because you one thing you don't want to have happen is just emotionally get drained out there, mentally draining. You don't want that to happen. That's the most important piece of what's going on is keeping your mental clarity and your stamina throughout the round so i man tiger looked good yes he did not wear nike shoes so there's there's a lot of talk about this what's going on what yeah he had the foot joys on okay whatever look nike sells a lot of shoes and so my theory is there Nike just wants to get out of making the Tiger Woods golf shoe because I, don't, I just don't think it's selling that much. The golf shoe that sells is the Jordan. So I think Nike sees that and they're like, look, we, we're not going to continue to, to make the shoe. It's not really as profitable as we need it to be. So I think whatever, it's all good. Uh, I didn't really take much out of it other than uh, I think the Foot Joy one looks better than his own one. But either way. Tiger looked great. What are his chances? His current odds are at 50 to one. And I don't like those odds at all. I think they should be 20 to one. I think he has a much better chance than we give him credit, than 
he's being given credit for. I give him all the credit in the world. I actually think he'll make the cut, and I think he can and will be competitive in this 2022 Masters that I am super looking forward to, and I do believe he'll be in the mix. I, I don't think he'll win, but I think he'll be there. I don't think he'd be there if he didn't think he could contend. His game looks sharp. His iron game, crisp as can be. It's just what's going to happen to your adrenaline, your emotion, your rhythm, tempo, timing once you get into your first tournament round at Augusta since Riviera and, you know, whatever, 2021. That's a long time since he's competed in an event. But this is an event that people who haven't competed in a long time can come and have like a lot of course knowledge, a lot of great history there, and they can have a lot of great success. So I don't, 50 to one, I'd put him at 20 to one if you ask me. And I think he will be there, he'll make the cut, and he'll be on that, he'll be in the mix on some level, which is gonna make it super exciting. So wish Tiger all the best. Let me know what you think about what's gonna happen with Tiger Woods at this Masters comment below. But either way, it's exciting to see, and I think we'll see him at all the other majors this year. I'm not sure about any other events, but I do believe we'll see him at the other three majors moving forward.